We are live on the Kohl Center floor following Wisconsin's 81-80 victory over Western Kentucky. It was a close one at the Kohl Center. Wisconsin really had to sweat it out in the final couple of minutes. Brad Davison drew a key block or charge, depending on the rule, with about two seconds left. Went to the free throw line, hit one of two. Wisconsin emerged with the victory. My name is Ben Pickman, sports editor at Daily Cardinal, joined by Thomas Falcon Irwin. Tom, what did you see down the stretch, and, and how did Wisconsin emerge with a victory in this one? Yeah, you know, it's it's been all year that the Badgers have sort of collapsed in the last three minutes. And if I'm remembering right, I think they were outscored in the last three minutes of this one, too. But it all came down to that last play, and, and Rick Stansbury touched on it a little bit, that it's dangerous to put uh, the whole game on, a, on one play at the very end in the last two seconds, where Brad Davison drew a charge on, uh, on Hollingsworth. Yeah. Um, but but it, it, you know it really did come down to that play, so it, it's hard to it's hard to diminish the the importance of that one play by Brad Davis. Zach Showalter said on Twitter after the game that the play had been in Wisconsin's playbook for years. Wisconsin, there was some debate if they had practiced it. They certainly had not used it in a game. Wisconsin had some other options on the play. Uh, Greg Gard said he said Brevin Critzel could have thrown it to Khalil Iverson, but option number one was for Brad Davison to get in there because Pritzel could run the baseline and try to draw a foul and send himself to the free throw line. And that's what worked. And whether or not uh, Davison's foot was on the line, which uh, Western Kentucky head coach Rick Stansbury said it was, um, and, and Revan Pritzel seemed to disagree, and, and he had a pretty good view of it. We haven't been able to find definitive video evidence one way or the other. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, like Guard said, there were other options on that play, and it just happened to be that the, this guy, Brad Davison, is so good at drawing fouls that it worked out for them. Wisconsin had its best and most balanced offensive night of the year Wednesday night. Four players scored more than 14 points. They hit 12 three-pointers after only taking 14 in total against Marquette. Wisconsin, after learning that Trice and King were going to be out with injuries on Monday, moved the ball much better, had a much better offensive rhythm, and it really showed tonight two days of practice made the difference. Yeah, you know, they ended up, I think, with 17 assists on the night, and that didn't all come from just one guy. You know, I think Ethan Happ had six, Brad Davison had five. Aline Ford himself had three and had a pretty nice offensive game too. So the, the team kind of felt like it rallied around missing the, their two guards that, that mean, such, mean, such, uh, mean so much to this program. And, and so when you see them moving the ball like that and ultimately getting 17 assists on 51 shots, that's a pretty good night. Ford had 14 points, a career high 14 points. He's worked very hard to, to get to the kind of level that he's at. He came in, started this year coming off the bench, wanted just to make an impact, play the Vito Brown role. Um, he's worked hard rebounding the basketball. That's been a point of emphasis for him, and also stretching the floor on the offensive end. He hit four three-pointers tonight, the most in his career, and it really made the difference for Wisconsin. And that's such a critical part of this Wisconsin attack is that Aleem Ford now starting for, I think, the fifth straight game, and, and he's going to be in the starting role for the rest of the season in almost uh, all likelihood. And so his improvement is really, really important to how this team is going to develop. Wisconsin now has five wins on the year. They've improved to five and seven. Going to take a finals break before a couple more non-conference games before conference play starts in early January. Check back on dailycardinal.com slash section slash sports and cardinal underscore sports for more coverage from Wisconsin's 81-80 victory over Western Kentucky.